Hello, all of you vain, gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Cities Skylines. Where today, we're going to look at a lonely railroad. Oh, it's not so lonely. Uh, today, we want to uh, work on our airport. Uh, it is the Fawn City Airport. That needs to change. We need to change it to Westwood. By the way, I am, I am, uh, for now, we're going to call it a regional carrier. Uh, I am completely open to name suggestions for, you know, anything that pops up, uh, in our Let's Play. So if, if you have a district or an airport or a plane or stand you want to name, hit me up with it. We are going to expand this out just a bit. Don't want to get too close to the water, but I do want a bit more space, uh, back here because... I want to do a couple of things, um, one of which we I, I kind of mentioned last time about planes getting uh, blocked up as they come through and get a traffic jam. So what I want to do is, first of all, we're going to have to pause for a second. I always pause when I do this, just in case a plane was coming in. Uh, I, I don't want to risk that plane. Uh, not getting here. I want to bring this back a little further here. Um, I don't have a whole lot of space, though. So, to about there. Uh, so, I want. I, I just want to have a little extra room for planes to queue if they're coming in for the same um, landing pad. So, we're going to get rid of this um and that because now they can go in and across i i guess i'll keep that i kind of like the way it looks and then we're just gonna clean up this right here a little bit we're gonna come in with our train painter and just clean this up uh, a skosh oops Colored outside the lines. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't think I can get any of my decorations in here. Um, which is hangers. Yeah, they're too big. Uh, and small park planes. Too big. They don't fit there. But we will get some in eventually. Basically, the reason I wanted to do this is I'd like to be able to bring this on out this direction. If we decide to do a terminal over here. I don't know that we're going to. Um, but I'd like to have the option available to me uh what i would like to do and i've really limited where i can bring trains in. i was gonna have to like come in and loop up um which isn't going to be ideal that or we could maybe bring a train in back here and connect over here somewhere but then that would block us from really going this direction with the airport and i'd kind of like to go that direction with the airport i'd kind of like to bring this terminal on around and down into here and then maybe have like a smaller uh actual terminal instead of just the uh what's what's concourse concourse um i think it's called a concourse it is called a concourse there we go we also don't have air traffic control but what we need to do first of all is get this thing a little beautified uh we do have some mass transit options available to us but i don't know that i don't think they do anything for the attractiveness yeah it's not gonna fit anywhere anyway um we could bring this on down oh one thing that i know that i wanted to do i like to have a better idea of where the planes are coming into land as they are backing up that way i can kind of manage it and see if we need, you know, a redesign, things like that. So I like to number these. You don't have to number them. Uh, it's just, as they're coming into land, they will tell you what stand they're heading to. So that's four, this is five. And so if you see a bunch of planes waiting, you can figure out what they're waiting to go to. And then maybe address the problem a little bit. I don't think I hit enter on a couple of these, I did not. There we go. So six, five, four, three, 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. And we have plenty of planes wanting to leave. Um, but we just don't have a whole lot of uh, planes coming in yet. Uh, and you can see that 100% of our traffic is outgoing. And that's because, oh, if we go back into this real quick, uh, you can see, if you hover over this, this uh, chart compares the amount of departing and arriving passengers in this airport. Well, okay, why is it 100% outgoing? The attractiveness door. The attractiveness determines how many tourists the airport will attract. Well, our attractiveness score is nothing. <laughs> so we need to um, improve. We also need to quit clicking the wrong button. And by we, I do mean me. So I'm going to go ahead and extend this concourse out just a little bit. Because I would like to get some public transit in here. Um, oh man, that is really close to that road. Um, so what if then... I'd really like to get this... Oh wow, I could do that and it's connected. But that's a little bit closer than where I'd like it to be. Um, I didn't realize it would connect to that. So let's grab this road. And I'd like to bring it out just one more because I do want to have it turn and come down around this way for possibly a terminal there or terminals here. But I haven't really decided yet. Uh, just kind of taking it as it goes. But this is not straight, is it? This building, I just don't think it's it's straight. It's so hard to line those things up and and get them just right it really really is but oh we know that this will reach like that and then that can give us a place for this road to turn and then what we could do here for our friends the buses is make a one-way loop um i want to find not that one. I want one that is, um, there we go, half and half. Um, so we're just going to make a little one-way loop for the buses, and then we're going to upgrade that, except we can't yet. We have to come in here with, not that one, that one, and click unlock and unlock that. And now I can upgrade that road. So now we've got a bus-only lane, and if people choose to use this to come through, they can. We may do a parking lot there. We are going to do some parking out in this middle bit. It's going to be a big uh, bunch of parking, but that doesn't contribute to our attractiveness. What I would like to do is make it easier for people to get about. So we are going to just here at this very first stop. Let's see. We've got a bus stop there and we've got a bus station over here. So let's just run express lines here. And this one is full, so it's going to have to share a bay. I'm trying to remember which one has the teeny tiny buses. Uh, and it's kind of hard to tell because none of the teeny tiny buses are coming in right now. So, hmm. I'm going to just put it there and we can relocate it if necessary. And this is going to be just a shuttle. Uh, this is going to be airport shuttle one. And then I am going to go ahead and give it a slightly different color so I keep track of it. And then I want to put um, the, let's just put the Double Decker Airport bus on there. Not that one. Why are you not putting the bus on that I want? There we go. Uh, and then I want another line that goes to my other station. I don't know that it's really necessary because there's a metro between these two stations, but whatever, this station's not really getting used all that much, so may as well, right? And back in to there, and we are going to make that one uh, that color, cool. And then on this one, I want double duck your airport buses, cool. Uh, and I doubt these get a whole lot on. I don't think I have... Oh, I didn't name that one. Uh, that was this guy. Call this. I haven't named any of my routes yet. I need to do that. Airport shuttle 2. There we go. That'll work for now. Nobody really wanting to ride it right now. 
mainly because they've already driven out here. So, decoration. What do we have for decoration? Not a lot right now. We've got some budget hotels, we've got small planes, and we have small hangars. I could just pay big bucks and turn on hotel discounts and instantly get it, but that costs me 20 passengers per week, and I'm trying to keep cost of running the airport down as low as possible so that when we get to the uh, point where we can uh, have our own airline, we can maximize those profits. I think that would be a good thing. So this run here is 3000 So that is 1200 And then that's... Not another twelve hundred. I was hoping it would be pretty even, and it's not. Um, so let's just go there and there, and then we'll come out another group there, and this will give us, granted, an extra long block there, but that's okay. We're gonna get some of our hotels in here. Go ahead and get water down to that guy. Then we will bring a water line down here. And we're just going to put in a few of these. Uh, let's go one there. I don't want them super close to the airport. One there and one right here. We're also going to need some services out here. Those are all really dingy colors. So what did that do for us? That brought us up to 120 right there. So that's kind of handy. Um, we could throw in some hangers out here. And a thing I like to do with these hangers is put them in and then there's parked planes that are available. And yeah, it's fine to just put the parked planes out here, but I like to use Anarchy. And come in here and center up the plane inside of there. Uh, not all of them. I, I don't think it's necessary for all of them. You still get the decoration boost for them, but I just think it looks cool to have a plane in there. Like it's, you know, ready to, to come out or it's currently in for service or, you know, something. I just, I, I dig the way it looks. Uh, versus just having an empty hangar sitting there with a plane just parked on the tarmac. And that gets us there, 280 out of 200. So we can go ahead and speed things up. And what we should see is now we have half and half. We've got incoming flights. In fact, there's, wait, right? No, you're taking off, my bad. I thought you were landing. Uh, we should see an incoming flight here pretty soon. While we're waiting for that, I wanna think about where we might be able to get some services in here. I'm also realizing this may not have been the best location for that because, uh, well, if I want anything down here, why do you have the wrong buses on your line? What is wrong with you? Oh, it's select types. There. Just, just double decker. And I don't think we need 17. I realize it's a 10 kilometer route. But I don't think we need 17. I think we can get by a probably like eight. And even then, that's probably too many. I'm just waiting for the number to go down. That's six. Is it not going to adjust that number? Let's uh, speed up. No time is sped up. Oof. Where are you coming from? You're still pulling. No? Okay. Why are we still at 17? Oh, I didn't hit budget control, that's why. There's a good reason it's still at 17. So let's bump this up to 8. There's 6. Uh, that should have given me 7. Yeah, and 8 right there. Yeah, perfect. So then let's check Airport Shuttle 2, because apparently it has... Yeah, it's got the wrong buses on it, too. I don't know why that's happening. That's really weird. Usually when I select it, it's... It's good. Like, there, it's... You know, I have bendy buses, what I told it to do a second ago. Uh, we're going to turn off budget control. We're going to get rid of those. And then we're going to turn budget control back on. There we go. And uh, this is a 12-kilometer route. Again, I think 8 will be more than sufficient. 
I don't think we need 22 buses making this run. Not yet. Not till this thing gets super popular. That's nine. And that's eight. Cool. Awesome. Uh, what that also gave us was a bit more space here that we could throw in more stands. I don't see why not. Um, I mean, we're waiting for 500 passengers, and yeah, the game is running slower, so apparently we still have a bit of a conflict mod. Sorry for the big clank right there. Grabbed my water bottle, and it went clank against something, and I need to drink water. So at this point, we have 15 weekly passengers. And, uh... We're only filling our planes 15% of the way when they leave. So we definitely want to get that change. So you've got four active flights. Oh, that's cool. Each one tells me how many active flights. So that could even help me. Oh, hello. Uh, that could even help me know what we've got coming in for traffic. I just don't know that I want to spend the money for operating costs right now. If we are not... Going to immediately reap the benefits of that investment. So I kind of want to think about where I want uh, another terminal. And I think I want it like back here. So I want to find a nice place to bring another segment off here. That's going to be a collector that can then wrap around this way. Um, so this is straight. Where does this start curving right here? Yeah. So we could go there. So let's let's plan here. Let's give us give ourselves like one more block here. I'm gonna go out one extra square. Cause I think that's where I want the collector is. Well, I said that's where I want the collector, and I put a local road there. Good job, me. There. Something like this, and then bring that over, and then bring this down to right about there and then this should actually let's connect right here is that a good curve yeah i dig that and that still gives us a little space to work with here i do have something i'd like to place right here or maybe right over here but i'm still thinking about bringing this terminal on down uh to line up with this road and connect here and maybe get some medium planes over here because we're going to have those very soon. We're at 332. Uh, we can also do some services and things off of a small little stub down here. Um, but we are going to use all this for airport. Every bit of it. So let's look at maybe expanding this as we're getting closer to where we're going to be able to have the medium. So... Road guidelines work here. So what if um, I want to, this is how far from the road exactly I turn the anarchy back on. Uh, about 1300 away. So if we go here, come back 1300, that's right about there. Get this straight and then run it in. And then back it off to about here. And then bring this out. And then use the curved road tool. Should be able to make a nice little connection there. Does it perfectly mirror? Oh, hey, look at that. Does it perfectly mirror the way the road curves there? But that's okay. I'm, I'm all right with that. Um, and I might even move the bus terminal down this way. Because if I want to wrap this around, that bus terminal is kind of way um in fact will it snap right here anywhere no nah, it's just too close to that road you can go back there but that's not where we would want it to go just a little too close to the road so maybe we leave it there for now um, but we have upgraded, and now that I look at this, I don't really care for this massive long terminal. Just not really my vibe, so it's gone. We'll do, we'll do something else down there. Um, 
I'm okay with this here, but I really do want to relocate that bus to somewhere else. So instead of this curving, I'm going to just bring it... Maybe we could... Uh, that won't quite fit. Maybe we could do this. Kind of experimenting. I didn't really play test this. I just wanted to see what I could come up with. We could bring this out. How far past it this is this? 2600. Actually, let's just do from there to there. 4550. So that's 1950. Math. Um, so that would take us to there. What I said, 4550, right? 4550, 4420, whatever, close stuff. Um, now can we relocate our buses down here? Yes, just barely, but I'm going to pop it all the way to the end here, maybe? Better idea. What if I got a couple plain stands there and brought it back right there? I like that idea. I'm going to figure this out and I'll, how I want to do this and I'll be back with you. So I think I'm just going to do an L-shape here. Uh, hopefully I can get just a couple more aircraft stands like lined up. It's a little tricky. I wish I could use Anarchy to place them and then move them. But I can't. So I kind of got to eyeball it. What if we turn this off and then I can see where my taxiway actually is? That might help a little bit. i like it to be straight. So I can get one there. I can get one right there. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get one down here. I'm not. So then hopefully... Oh, it's not straight. Maybe there's that one. Okay. So we need to bunch you over just a skosh here. Bunch it over? Yeah, bunch it over. And now it's too far that way. <laughs> of course it is. So right like that. Is that got it? Nope. A little bit more. Just a, a pixel or two here. That was literally like two pixels. I can live with that. It's pretty close. This I cannot live with. This one needs to come over to the, to the right a little bit. Just a bit, like maybe there. It says it's 90 degrees. It's not quite. We can kind of tell by looking at it. But it's not. And we can't have that one going that way. That has to. Whoops. There we go. That has to go out that way. Because if it doesn't, uh, then this plane wouldn't have any way to get out. It would be able to get in. So there we go. That gives us a couple more aircraft stands. This is now number eight. And this one is now number nine. And it gives me a place where I'm happier to move the a stop to which is going to be over here on its own little thing here um, those stops should update if not I can just drag them over here and we are going to get rid of that and then we'll figure out a road here um, I do like the idea of that little one-way loop that we had going on there it is so we will Find a good place to bring that in. Which road guidelines are up? Yeah, they are. Like right there? I don't really like that. I like that better, I think. Right there. And of course it's pointing the wrong way. But easy fix. Actually, now that I think about it, let's let's do something a little bit different here. Um, do I have a four-lane two-way with the bus lines. I do. 
I don't want this to be a huge road, but what I want to do is this. Um, unlock this and now use the one way here. And again, just the two lane one. There it is. So we'll upgrade that. And we will just bring this around. I don't want to make it too tight for the buses, but at the same time, this doesn't need to be huge. There we go. So then this can just go out. And then we just need to adjust this a little bit using Traffic Manager. Obviously, uh, there's no reason for them to go back around. That's just a, hey, go right again type lane. And then down here, both lanes can do either thing because one's for buses, one's for cars. Nice, cool. And hopefully that just updated the stops automatically and see if it did it did not that's okay we can move them and right there cool so now we should have both of our lines there yes i'm happy with that i don't like that the buses are making a left but uh, we'll live with it still don't know exactly how i'm gonna get my trains in here um they may have to go underground and then pop up uh, at the last second. But let's get our next big concourse going. Because we want to get medium planes going. And we also need to get up to a higher attractiveness score up to a thousand now. So what did we get that's new for decorations? Anything good? Actually... Yeah, we got some stuff. We got a luxury hotel. We got the the lounge. We got the fuel stations. And then, of course, medium planes as well. When do we unlock? That's all cargo stuff. When do we unlock the museum? Not till level three. Okay. Is that... Oh, I thought that added some attractiveness. It does not. That's surprising. Okay. It's kind of going to go right here in this area. Uh, we may have to fiddle with it to get it to face the direction that I like. Uh, but that's where I want it to go. So that as you come into the airport, you're looking at the, the big pretty planes that are on it. However, we do now have ooh, 23 active flights. And we've gotten our usage up to 61%. And that's good. Granted, we're still not making any money, but, you know, we'll get there. So I want to come in here, and I could do a couple things. I could either just go ahead and go do a different terminal, but I want to do that back here. Uh, we're eventually going to put this in back here somewhere. Not right now, though. What we're going to do here is if I can get it to fit in. Ooh, really? It'll go this way, but I want it to snap you snap for me, please, so that you're at a nice 90 degrees? You really don't want to snap, do you? It'll snap like that, and then if I bring it back in, it should still have it. Yeah. Cool. I just want that because it has the metro in it, and we could run a metro over here as well. But really what I'm going to use the metro for is to get between different terminals. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to connect the metro to the rest of the city. We'll have to see. So then from there, I want to bring the concourse out this way. Uh, quite a good distance. It's eventually going to connect to the stuff that's over here as well. Because I'm all about airports connecting. Though they don't really need to. And then now we should be able to get in quite a few medium stands. And I want to, Ooh, you don't want to play nice at all, do you? Okay. Um, and this isn't quite straight, is it? All right, let's see if we can't trick it here. Go this way, go this way. Okay, not, so it needs to not go down quite so far. I wish it would give me a, a guideline. It started to. But it wants to do it at angles. And it started to give me... There, there it is. There's, there's straight right there. But that's not really straight. Hmm. What if, like, the last little bit's just kind of crooked? I think I can live with the last little bit being kind of crooked. Okay, so that was just 
of that to try to get that squared off. So let's get uh, some more planes in here. Tricky bit is going to be getting them off the taxiway and in here. It's going to be the same problem for down here. We're going to have to, like, have it turn. I just wanted to do an experiment, but I'll do it off camera. I wanted to see if we can get two runways to intersect each other. I don't know that you can. Never tried. Um, so let's get our medium plane stands in. Uh, we're going to go out to the edge and get three or four in here. And then we'll turn the corner. So it looks like three is going to be the magic number. And then I don't want these super close here. But I think I'm okay with... Let's see, where's that taxiway going to come in? So if I go across and across, which I don't really want to do, I want to bring it down here and have them come out that way. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. We'll figure this out. And then if this is going to be that way, then... Uh, really? Come on. Oh. Suddenly it likes it. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I don't know why it has suddenly decided to, to work, but hey, I'll take it. And then we are going to just give ourselves lots and lots and lots of uh, medium stuff here. About that many. And then I want to... Bring another shot here. I do. I really, really do. Um, so let me get rid of that. And put in another concourse hub. Concourse hub. Uh, I wasn't sure what it was called. That's why I said another. And I want to get this the same length as this. right about there again not exactly straight again I'm not exactly worried about it uh, what I would like to do though is to try to line these up again so we're gonna bring this in even though this is going the wrong way and just boop that right there and hope Ooh, this one this one's too close I needed to go a little farther this way Mm, gosh, I wish this DLC, I love this DLC, anyway. but I wish it had a little bit more in the way of some guidelines other than just road guidelines. Like maybe the segments would show you how big things are or what you can fit there, or if these told you how big they were. Um, that would be really handy. As it is, there's a lot of guesswork. And because of that, you wind up destroying a lot of stuff and rebuilding it. Now look, you went in there just a minute ago, no problem. Is it because this nub is too short? It's because that nub is too short. Fine, have a whole nub there. A little bit farther out than I wanted that to go, but we'll live with it. And I'm just gonna do my best to get this lined up here. That looks decent. This is now way too far away. Like, way too far away. To the point, I feel like I could get, like, another one in. And then go here. Ah, no, I won't be able to. Okay. Hello? Hello? There we go. And back to taxiways, bring this out just a skosh and hope that this will, yeah, right there, cool. I love that there it will snap like that. That's really convenient to kind of give you that guideline. Maybe we'll get four in here. We did three over there, we can get four in here. Now, we've got the taxiway here, super close. Um, what I want to do is actually have something a little different here. Um, so this is all going, oh, I don't like that. This is all going in a direction I don't want. 
Um, I want you to connect, but you don't connect properly. Why not? I want to get this right where in its same footprint, which is right there. There we go. That way this goes fairly straight. So I'm thinking about bringing them in here. And none of this is straight. Oh, this is what I said. I, I wish that it would, that there was just something more. It's all because that very first building is off just a little bit. I wish the guidelines gave us something more. Uh, just something better than what they do. So there's that one there. There's that one there. So I'm going to go here to bring my planes in. And then out and across. Oof, angles. These angles are so annoying. So down, down there, down there. But then I'm going to have a hard time getting that connected. That's going to be at a weird angle. Unless I let them loop around. I'm going to have to accept a weird angle because I don't want to accept having them loop around. Um... And then, uh, same here. Should I have, well, then I'm not getting this one, though. Brrr, I don't like that at all. Hello, let me do the thing. Yeah, I'm not happy with how this is turning out. Um, and then I want to bring this in. And now it's not going to let me go in that way, is it? Because there's no node there. This is kind of a mess. Uh, that's surprisingly going to let me do that. Okay, cool. So you're going to go out here. I think. Or are you going to go out here? You're going to go out here. I'll make use of that bit that we just made, though. So those go out there. These are going to go out here. We will have some cross traffic occasionally. I also want to have this here just as one other way in. Or out, actually. Yes, out. Um, so let's have these guys going out this way. All of these. All going out that way. They're going in and they can come out this way as well. Everything's going to go in here. So I need to have, whoops, that go in there. They can come back up here and go out if they want. So this is in. Then they can turn or go down there and then go there and then go in there. Um, then this is an out and that's an out. So if they go in, we can, we can get a plane in there. You can go all the way right there. We can get a plane in there and you're right there. Uh, we can get a plane there, he can come down around, come back, and we get a plane there because he can come down and go around there. Uh, and then we've got multiple ways out of here as well. It's not the most organized, uh, or by any stretch of the imagination, nice looking, um, but I think it'll work. Just looking to see if there's any problems here. I might want to even give them a couple ways across all of this. But none of this lines up. I may off camera just get these to line up a little bit better. Because they're kind of not the best. So we need to get a little bit of beautification. But what we also need is something that we have not added to the airport yet. Uh, and that's control tower. Um, if not one, two. Uh, and that's kind of why I wanted this concourse to reach down here and same for this one You want your control towers looking at your runways and That's mostly looking at the runway and just out and this one is looking that way Towards that end. It does have any attractiveness to them Yeah, they do actually cool. So you just spam a ton of <laughs> of uh, Control towers if you really needed uh, 
the beautification. But what I'm going to do is come into our decorative buildings because we have the airline lounge, which gives us 60 each. And I'm going to try to get, yeah, one here in this corner so you can watch the planes uh, as they come onto the ramps. We'll eventually have some that, that watch along the runway as well, uh, but not yet. Uh, and we'll maybe pop another one back here if we can get away with it. There we go. Actually, let's do two back here. And that should... No. We're still 160 away. I thought that would get us to where I'm like, and that'll get us to where we need to be. No. No, it won't. Uh, so where would our aviation fuel be stored? Probably like out and away from the airport would be my guess. I don't know. I don't know a lot about airports. We're just going to plop it down right over here. Uh, we're going to do a couple of them. Just right next to each other. In fact, I'm going to do three. Seems to me you really wouldn't want the, the planes going right next to the fuel. Uh, it seems like that would be just tempting fate. But that should get us to a level three airport so that next time we can focus on adding in big planes, maybe cleaning up some of our messes. And, uh, and then the video after that, we can do some cargo. But right now, we've got 26 flights coming in. Uh, pretty full. Most of them are still outgoing. But we'll get there as this attractiveness score kind of carries over and does its thing. But we're going we're gonna to find ourselves a plane that's, that's taking off or you're landing. I want, to, I want one of our new medium friends. Where's one of our new medium friends? There, no. None of our medium, all of our medium friends took off, didn't they? Small passenger plane, landing, landing. Okay, whatever, we will do that in a minute. Wait, hold on, hold that thought. Did I ever make this thing get down here? In the can, but I don't like it. I wanted to give them another separate taxiway of their own right here. Real quick, real quick. I know we we're about to wrap it up, but I wanted a second taxiway coming in right like that so that they can turn there and not have to deal with this cross traffic. There we go. Now I'm happy. So let's just uh, join up with this boy here and we'll watch him take off. And until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.